hi lovelies thank you for clicking on this video sit back relax the table is set let's eat together if you are new do not go away watch if you like what you see click on the red subscribe button turn on the notification bell to all so whenever i post a video you'll be notified and you come watch it to my returning subscribers thank you for always always watching my videos you guys rock i appreciate your support today we'll be making plantain porridge Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let me quickly introduce the ingredients I'll be using. I have six plantain here, six pieces of plantain. I have fish, grilled fish from my oven, crayfish. I have basil there. I have basil in place of scent leaves. Since we don't have scent leaves, I use basil. I'm going to use a few pieces of um, salad leaves as well, romaine lettuce. I have five pieces there. I have my onions, pepper, salt, and also oil, palm oil. But I don't think I'll be using a lot of the palm oil. So let's start the preparation. It's very quick. It doesn't take a lot of prep time apart from the planting, cutting, and also the cooking doesn't take too long as well. So you can use any protein of your choice, but I'm using fish. I love fish a lot. You can use goat's meat. It's also very good for this meal as well. So let's start cooking. Guys, can you see how small the plantain turned out? As if it's not fully matured. That's what we find here. As I'm doing this, I'd like to be chatting with you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you live like outside of your country. If you live outside of your country, what are the things you miss most about home? Like me, it's all about mostly food, apart from my family, mostly our food. It's not just about the fact that the food is ex there are food items or ingredients is expensive to buy. The thing is that sometimes you can't even find them. And even when you find them, you don't find good ones to buy. I remember one time I bought them um, obono. Hmm. I bought obono seed, the blended one. I got some, opened it up. You know, it's not like in the open market in Nigeria where you can buy obono and you can actually visibly see what they are buying. Because it's not pre-packed, but this one is already packed, so you can't really tell. I bought some bono. I came back home, I cooked it. God, we couldn't eat it. With all the things inside that we had put in, all the stomping blocks, all the mountains, I could one of my cousins, you see all the mountains in the, in the soup. We just could not eat it. It was so, so bad. The taste was off. The taste was off. We had to throw that away. After a while, because I like Ogbono, I was like, okay, let me try the one that is not blended, you know. Maybe when I blend it on my own, it could be better. My goodness. I bought Ogbono again, you know? The one that is not blended. I came back home, blended and cooked. It was the same thing. It was so bad. Since then, I'm not eating a bun again. So if I don't order things from back home myself, I don't eat a bun at all. And I really love a bun. So that's one of the things I, I really miss having. I love a bun a lot, but yeah, I stay away from it because I don't want to be wasting money. Can you imagine buying something of maybe 5 euro? Just a little quantity. I think 100 um, grams is about 5 euro or so. I forgot because it's really long. So this experience I'm sharing is just one of my few experiences when I just came here. So I just make do with the things like um, afang, okra, bitter leaf, you know, other ones that I know. Even there was a day I bought Sokazi too. Oh my goodness. I bought afang. I was so bad because I was cooking it for a friend who just lost um, a family member. So she couldn't cook and she had lots of uh, guests in the house, so I had to like make, I decided to make a little food for her. I 
butter fan. My goodness, after cooking it, the thing was smelling horribly. Like a fan that was so rotten. The thing was not even fresh. At first when I opened the pack, it wasn't smelling very, very good. I was like, okay, maybe when I wash it with warm water and all that to take away the sand and everything, that it will be okay. But after cooking, the smell here, yeah, yeah. you know, I normally have African food smells, but this one was really bad. It was smelling so off. Like I think the preservation method, or they had kept the leaf for very long. But it was the fresh one. That's one thing I like here too. You can find the fresh afan to buy the pack. Like it was smelling so so badly. Hmm. It was smelling so so badly. That one too was strong, but that was like one out of all. That was just the only experience of bad um, afan that I, I have had here. But the major one that I stay away from is Obono. Obono. Obono now I eat it only on the screen when I see people cook. Maybe when things stabilize and we can actually get things from home and get good of them again. So I'm almost done with this. I love planting growing up. So yeah, when you are ill and you want my mom wants to cook for you to help you build your blood and all that, make you strong again. I love this. Uh, Time I go out, I come back and I open the pot. I mean, what did you cook? I see plantain. Hey, I'm always so happy. But back home, we cook it with them. You can cook with a wrinkle that has shell and then lots of dry fish, like dry fish, not smoke on the, in the oven. Proper dry. Hmm. It tastes, eh? Oh my goodness. Bottom pots, that is what I like most in this plantain. The top pot where all the ingredients are settled down into plenty of crayfish. I love crayfish. Growing up, anytime my mom asks me to cook, she will always measure out crayfish for me because she always will say to me, that I use a lot of crayfish. I should not finish the crayfish in the house and all that. So I'm going to just pack this up and come back to you guys. So I've just washed it to dry it to cut. Guys, I'm done cutting. So ready to be cooked now. Adding my stock fish stock, fish stock water just till it covers not a lot of it. Okay, and then everything because the plantain doesn't cook for too long. Pepper. Just everything and everything. Everything I just according to your taste. Pepper. Yeah. And because I want to have the flavor, because I want to have the flavor of the fish, I went ahead to cut into small pieces a part of the fish so I'm going to put the one I cut into pieces now so that it can release its flavor into the, into the food onions. I love onions a lot so I use a lot of it when cooking so my onions go in as well so we'll come back to it when it's boiling just cover it is boiling so I want to add my crayfish just half of it for now 
we need just a little water. Add my the many fish. Oil. I'm going to add my palm oil. I don't want to use a lot of palm oil. That's okay. It's almost ready. It's yummy already. Just tasted for salt and pepper, and it's Ooh. just fine. Okay, so my oil is in. I'll cook again for another four to five minutes, and then. When I'm adding my basil and the salad leaves, I'm going to just turn it off. Yummy, yummy. So this is actually ready, ready, ready for consumption. Farm our plantain porridge is ready. Come, let's eat and enjoy. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and gisting also with me. See you in my next video. Do not forget to share like and also comment thank you bye bye